America is the greatest nation on earth. There is no argument. When you come here, number one, be ready to obey the laws of the land. As long as you are not coming in opposition to the law, you are going to be good here. No, that's the first advice I give to the people trying to come here. Oh, okay. The second advice is that you have to learn a trade. Trade, okay. Learn a trade, HVAC, air condition mechanics, barbers. America is not like we used to, they used to say that uh, mm -hmm. money grows on trees. No, you have to work. America is the most hardworking people in the whole world. Oh, wow. The most hardworking people in the whole world is the citizens of the United States of America. Disclaimer. 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 DJ Bleed, Germany, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on DJ Bleed TV. Thank you for taking your time to tune on DJ Bleed TV. DJ Bleed TV, we are right inside the United States of America, Atlanta. That is where DJ Bleed we are right now. I've got my African brother and he have living here for a very long time. So DJ Bleed TV, we decided we want to have one or two chit chat with him and ask him about the Africans living in the diaspora. As you know, most of our African people, we keep saying that, or they keep saying that, America is heaven. Me, that I'm talking to you. I just came to visit, to witness whether truly America is heaven or not. My brother here, he has been living here for a long time. So ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome my brother on DJ Bleed TV. Brother. Hey, <laughs> how far now? Good, my brother. <laughs> Everything cool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Good. Nice one. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, welcome on DJ Bleed TV. All right, thank and you. And then um, I will also thank you for giving me the opportunity. I know how it is in abroad here. Time is money. Right. Like we always say, you know, we're talking to DJ Bleed TV. Uh, we want to ask you one or two questions. How long you been in America? Yeah, probably. Uh, Nine years. Oh, nine years? Yeah. Wow. Nine years. Oh, right. nice one. So take us through. You're from Nigeria, right? Right. Okay. Right. All the way to the United States. Which state was your first place that you landed? Chicago. Uh, no, no, New York. Oh, you like you said, in New York? Yeah. JFK? Yeah, JFK. Oh, okay. Then from New York, I went to Chicago, you, went you know. To Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, 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 DJ Bleed TV won't hold you much, but we just want to know, since you've lived here for almost nine years, I know you know one or two things about the African diaspora. Africans in the diaspora, I know your mission. First of all, can you tell us your purpose of traveling from Nigeria? Yeah, actually, my, my purpose of traveling is, uh, number one, mm -hmm. sometimes you need to experience some other people's culture. Okay, okay. Meet some people. I, I just travel because, matter of fact, the United States is the first place I have traveled outside Nigeria. Outside Nigeria? Yes. Wow. You know, so. Why, why, why United States and not in I mean, another country? I mean, that's like uh, while I was growing up, mm -hmm. you know, my father had, the, we had the cable, I watched the CNN, yeah, yeah, yeah. the ABC News. Yeah, yeah. So. And uh, when I watched this thing, I was like trying to... I, I, I have a picture of what the American society looks like. Oh. So but in my heart, I really want to see whether this thing I see on the television... Is this real? Is it real? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, is, that's, this is the only... If you see my passport, yeah. it's only US visa on my passport. Oh, wow. That's the only place I've been. Wow. You know, so... Nice. As a matter of fact, the first time I entered a, an airplane... Yeah is coming to the United States of America. Oh, wow. The first time I entered an airplane. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's really, so that was what drove me, but I found out that everything you see on the TV mm -hmm. is the same thing it's here. the same thing. Like I tell some of my friends in Nigeria, you want to come here? This is not a lawless place. Okay. Like some back in Africa, mm -hmm. you, this is not, there is a law here. There is institutions. So. If you think that you are in Africa where it's almost lawless, it's not America, okay? Now, when you come here, number one, be ready to obey the laws of the land. Okay. Yes, be ready to obey the laws of the land. As long as you are not in opposition to the law, you are going to be good here. No, that's the first advice I give to the people trying to come here. Oh, okay. The second advice is that you have to learn a trade. 
trade, okay. Learn a trade, HVAC, air condition mechanics, barbers. America is not like we used to, they used to say that uh, mm -hmm. money grows on trees. No, you have to work. That's why in America you have like a 24 hour economy. Okay. Many businesses run out run 24 hours, they don't close. Oh, wow. Gas station, McDonald's, tire shops, QT, it's 24 hour hotels. So that, but you know, you see the difference now. Back yeah. in Africa, once it's like 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., most of the business will shut yeah. down. Everybody wow. will go and sleep. Yeah. But here, you know, so here, America is the most hardworking people in the whole world. Oh, wow. The most hardworking people in the whole world is the citizens of the United States of America. They work so hard to earn their living. So whenever you want, if, if, if you want to stay here uh, as a foreigner, you must be able to adapt yourself to the system. Say so you say you've been here for almost nine years. Mm -hmm. And since that you've been here, I'm sure by now, you have your ground right. and everything. Right. And most of our brothers, they've been coming each and every blessed day from mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm coming to America and my first time that I landed, what, what should I do? Apart from the lawlessness and all that, you know, say, let's say, I don't know anybody yeah. and uh, I've landed. First of all, first of all, the advice is if you are coming to United States of America, mm. how you come goes a long way. What I mean how you come, the visa, the type of visa oh, okay, the type you of came visa. into the country go a, will go a long way a long to way. show how you can start. It doesn't mean that you can come with any kind of visa. Mm -hmm. That's you can, but how you came in yeah. goes a long way. Let's say I came <clears throat> here with a visa, a tourist visa, right? Mm -hmm. And I want to stay. What should be my way to get my stay here? I mean, number one is that you have to, uh, if you go with a tourist visa, you cannot, you, 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 you came as a tourist. Yeah. Like you came from Germany, mm -hmm. like you said. Mm -hmm. Are you not going back to Germany? I will definitely go back. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but there are some people, you know, they will just come, they want to come. They, they I mean, that one stay. might be his circumstances, and you know, yeah. I cannot predict your own circumstance yeah, yeah. and predict my own. Mm -hmm. But I know it's circumstantial, but yeah. normally if you come with a visa, visa, mm -hmm. you can, I mean, tourist visa. Yeah. You can well, do that. Oh, I mean, there, it could be. So I don't know much about. You don't know much about, yeah, about it, yeah. But I know okay. that you can. America, just do not come against the law. The law. Don't cross the line. Don't commit crimes. Yeah. Don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Once you are here, yeah. You, I'm telling you, you will enjoy it. As long as you don't commit crime, the sky is your limit in America. The sky is your no limit. matter what is your dream in this is the greatest country on earth. Wow. America is the greatest nation on earth. There is no argument. I mean, I know you've been on Germany. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Live, you are from mm -hmm. Germany. But you can see America, the freedom, you know, the, the freedom. They give you freedom, to, but don't come against the law. Don't cross the line. The sky is your limit. They don't care whether you're a Christian, a Muslim, Nigeria, Africa, India, Asian, Chinese, America. They don't care. Just do the right thing. That's why the African diaspora are the most educated in America. In America. You know, it's on record. Wow. So wow. you can Google it, you can verify it. Yeah. According to Peter Obi. You know Peter Obi? Yeah. <laughs> Peter Obi will say, go and verify. Yeah, verify, man. One well, people, okay. if you just tune in right now, you know, I'm having one on one T chat with my brother, you know, all the way inside Atlanta, Georgia. You know, we're talking about the Africans in the diaspora, especially in America. When you come here, you know, like he just said, America is has given freedom to each and everyone that will come here. But you know the country, there is freedom in the country, but there is also law about it. Make sure you don't cross the line. As far as you are clean, you can live in the country as long as you want and do whatever that you exactly. want to do. Don't cross the line. Don't ever if you want to come to America, that is a tip secret for you. Make sure you keep it in your knees. I'm still having to chat with my brother. Okay. Bro, um, I'm sure you've been, uh, you've been helping some other brothers that they've been like from Africa and all that. 
what that live from, over there. Like they come from Africa. I'm sure when they come, like you, you've met some of our <coughs> brothers. Yeah, here, they come you that you help. Yeah, them, um, one of those things. Of course, has, has most, 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 most of us, most of time, even in Germany, like this, we do help people. Some people, you sell people. A lot of people. When you when you go on the internet, you hear that some most of some people that the people that they come from Africa, they are ungrateful. Some of them are ungrateful. Some of them are ungrateful. Something. Have you had any encounter about? Uh, this kind of things? Uh, actually, ingratitude is not something that's limited to a certain situation mm -hmm. or a certain event or a certain people, you know? Yeah. But I would not say that I don't think I have experienced it because when I, if I want to help you, I don't expect anything, anything from you. Yeah. Because I'm doing it for the sake of God. I don't expect anything. Mm -hmm. If I'm helping you, I don't expect anything. Yeah. You know? If I'm helping you, I don't really expect much. Okay. That is one of the things that make me whatever the mm. outcome is. Yeah. I don't really get I don't know what is, is happening at it's my happening, back. Yeah. So mm. I don't think I have experienced like somebody being ungrateful, ungrateful to, to me. Okay. Maybe there had been, but I cannot tell you that I pinpoint one, you know? Yeah. But it because the key is that do not expect much. Just like somebody say, oh, okay, can I borrow $100 from you? Oh, okay. I say, no, I don't have one. I can't borrow you 100 But I can give you 20 20 Don't pay me back. Yeah. Did you see? Yeah. yeah. I've given you 25% yeah. of the money you need. you need. It's better for me to give you the $20. Don't yeah. pay me. Back. But when I give you the 100 Tendencies are you are not going to pay me back, yeah. and that my friend, my friendship will be messed up. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so I rather give you take twenty. I mean that's the way I I, I do it with, with that kind of attitude. attitude. I don't think there there could be any conflict. Yeah. Or me said I have never. But even though people, even though the ingratitude is relative to yeah yeah you oh, know, yeah 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 stories come and you don't even base your story based on one side of the well, story. Ever since that you came here, say nine years, have you gone back to Africa? Man, I've not gone back. To, oh, my you know no. why? <laughs> I've not gone back because my children, uh -huh. my wife, uh -huh. they're all here. Oh. So, how can I go back if my wow. wife and yeah. my children, you yeah, know? Yeah, we're here. Okay, yeah. can you please look into the camera and just one or two words to our brothers and sisters out there that they want to come to the, they want to travel and mm. come there. Any advice out there? Because some of, some people- The best advice that. I can give yeah. to you coming here is that you must have a purpose for your life in the first place. Mm -hmm. You must have a purpose. And until purpose is discovered, existence has no meaning. You know, every product that is produced, the producer, the manufacturer always put a manual inside the product. So you have to read your own manual and know what you really want in life. Secondly, try to get a kind of education, vocational training, things that, because America is not really much about what you have read, but what can you do? What can you do with your hands? What can you do with your brain? What can you do with your times? It must not be necessarily be a university degree or PhD. They are welcome to degree, good. That's a very good start, but go and learn. Those work we the neglect for Africa, or like mechanic, we know go feed do mechanic, carpenter, tailor, go and learn it. Baba, this is the real deal here, bro. Because when you come here, we see that if you have a, a Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering, you still have to go to their school to mm. take their certification exam. Mm. By the time you finish all these things, maybe two to three years, ah, hunger, hunger for don't why are you small if you don't get sponsored. Some people even drop on the way. But when you learn a vocational skill, as you are doing that your school, you'll be doing your vocational if you're an electrician. If you are a, 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 a HVAC, that is, in America, they call it HVAC. In Nigeria, they call it heating and air condition. Fridge, you know? Yeah, carpenter. Carpenters are so scarce here yeah, that you can have just one carpenter in a whole city. Just one carpenter in a whole city. That people even prefer to buy used furniture or new furniture, already mm -hmm. made. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, have you, I've never seen a carpenter here. Really? 
I've never seen a carpenter in America. They are very scarce, so you got to buy wow. the one, they are anything, you got to buy the one they already made. Mm -hmm. You know, in Nigeria, if you want to build a bed, you can go to carpenter, measure the kind of bed you want to build. But right here, you must build, buy the one they already made. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So go and learn a vocational skills and make sure you abide by the law. You can, you can run here, you can hide. You can never beat the law here. 125% sure it could take time, but when they catch you, there is no Ogabe go. I know Dangote, I know this one, I know. No, no here. No, nobody's above the law, man. Yeah. You know, so, like I said, yeah. learn something like a trade, mm -hmm. that when you come, while you are going to school, if you come with a student visa, or tourist visa or whatever you come with, yeah. you can contribute, be of a value to the society, to the economy, economy, and sell your services. But when you try to be a public charge, that you depend on the government to feed you and do some stuff, bro, they go pursue you come out here. <laughs> My brother, what was I talking? What's the name? My name is John. Mr. John, thank you. Nice to talk to you again. God bless you, John. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone you, you want to greet? Um, I mean, I will greet my mother. That's true. <laughs> because when <laughs> greeting pass, Mama and Papa, every other person can wait. I will greet my mother. That's Wherever right. you are, Mama, I love you. That's right. I love you so much, my Mama. DJ Bleed. Yo, thank, thank you. you. God bless you. God bless you too. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, people, you heard him, man. That was our brother John from Nigeria. That DJ Bleed TV, we had in contact to talk with him one on one. He have shared and he have also given advice. So if you are in Africa or you are in the United States, you don't know your way about, you heard the advice. Takes the good one, put it in your knees. The bad one, put it aside. Life still goes on. If you are new on DJ Bleed TV, make sure you hit on the subscribe and don't forget to share and spread. DJ Bleed TV, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, United States. Bye-bye. DJ Bleed TV. Kindly please like, share and subscribe.